Hi everyone, what we're going to do in this lesson, um, like I said before in the previous uh, two lessons back, what we're going to do is we're just going to update this part right here so that this information comes from the database. All right, what I was thinking um, underneath the image right here, I just think I just need to add the user's name because the picture, yes, if a person doesn't know who this is, they can just read the person's author's name or something like that underneath here. So in this list, what we're going to do is we're just going to work on this one right here. Obviously, we are not going to add the comments, the views, and, but we will add the hours right here. Okay, so we're going to do this in this episode. All right, so let's get started. So let's go to VS Code or whatever code editor you use. Under Resources, Views, um, Right, pages, threads, and index. Right, as you can see, we iterate over all our threads right here. So let's just open our thread controller. So thread controller. All right, so we open it here. So this is basically passing to the view. I'm just going to increase this to 10. All right, uh, just to kind of give the user a little bit more. If you, now let me just show you something. In I don't know if you guys know Reddit. I think everyone knows Reddit. Um, they kind of show a lot of posts in a uh, single uh, view. So let's just keep it to 10 for now. All right, so we're passing this threads to the view. All right, so if we go to the view right here, let me just put that in front. Okay, if we go to the view, we iterate basically over the thread, and each thread is basically this one right here. So what we want to do is we want to update that thread component. All right, so what we want to do, this is basically we iterate over that thread, and this is basically going to be the thread uh, title. Okay, so this is going to be a thread title. And you know what? We don't want, uh, let's say, the user uh, typed in a lot of information, like let's say over 500 characters. We don't want that thread in there to actually contain 500 characters. So what we want to do now is we want to actually create a method inside our model, our thread model, and actually uh, call on a method like this, where we actually can call an exit. All right, so how do we do that? Let's go to our thread model. So thread model right here. So in our thread model, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new method. Um, let's just create it underneath this right here. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to create that accept. So basically public uh, function. Just use my shortcut. So accept. Uh, right. Accept. And inside I just want to do time hinted with an integer and the limit that we want to set. Uh, just the dollar sign limit the limit that we want to set we want to equal that to let's say 250 250 characters okay and it must just return a string okay so type this is all php 8 orientated um, now what we want to do is we want to return a string Okay, so just make sure you import it at the top. All right, so let me just show you. So import, eliminate, support, string. All right, that one right there, as you can see. Otherwise, you're going to get an error that the class one is not found. Okay, then you add just a limit. Okay. Now, the limit will basically just limit the amount of tags, and we can just say this body. The body, this is basically the property, this one right here that we're calling on. All right, this dot body, and what we want to do is just put a comma. We're going to have another problem where if the user, because we're going to use a widget editor and they're actually going to have tags on them. So, what we want to do is we can actually do this strip. Strip the tags. 
because basically what we want when a WYSIWYG editor, what happens is it actually saves it in your database, the diff tags, paragraph tags, all that kind of stuff, all the styling attached to it. So we want to actually remove that tags as well. And the next part that we want to do is put a comma here. And now the thing is we want to actually just use the limit. All right, the limit that we just set there, we're just calling on in here. So if you want to change the limit, you just change it here to 200 or 300 or 400, depends on you. All right, so what we want to do now is in our thread right here, we're calling on that exit right there. Okay, the next thing we can do is, since we more or less do what Laravel uh, IO does, we can actually just create a public function again. And we're going to call on the title, and this will be a string. And then we basically just return this title. Now, what happens now is you can actually add um, modifications and things like that, mutations on top of this. But for now, let's just return this because uh, one user asked if we can actually just do what laravel.io does so i'm just going to stick to that okay so the next part the body and then this is going to be a string as well and then let's return this body all right it, it will not actually do anything uh, if you let me just call on the method here so now what I've done is I just returned now instead of the property, we're just calling on this method. It's returning the property. Okay. So it doesn't do anything very mu much difference in your code. But if you want to mutate it or do anything special to it, you can just do it here instead of going around changing all your code. So let's say later on you just want the titles to be different, change it to uppercase or whatever the case may be, then you only have to change it here, all right? You don't have to, because then in your methods right here, you don't call on the property, you're calling on the method. So later on, let's say you want to give all the titles a little bit special characters or anything like that, you only have to do it here instead of all the views, all right? So that's the benefit of doing that way, in my opinion. There are many, probably many other benefits. So then, like I said, you can only you only have to do it here. Now the thing is, in this case, we're just calling on the property, uh, the method that we created, and the method returns the property. But if you want to change it, you can just change it in your model or right idea, the uh, whatever you want to do with the property. Okay. So enough of that. So the next part is we're returning the title, the excerpt. Okay. Now let's move a little bit down. Okay. So what is this? This is the comment count. We're not going to worry about that. This is the view count. And obviously the hours ago right here. We want to change this. All right. So we're going to be threads. Thread actually. And now create it. Now the thing is. And now we can actually just say div. Now we can say div for humans. All right, so this is basically format the date to be four hours ago, two minutes ago, one hour ago, whatever the case may be. All right, now the thing about the category is we can actually, I don't want this to show as a category. I actually want the tags to show right here, but we, we're still going to get to that when we created it. So then we can actually iterate over the tags and just display them here. All right, but for now, we're going to leave this one. All right, so let's go back to the view. Just instead of thread post date, I'm just going to call it thread date. Just tell me if I move a little bit too fast for you guys, and then next video I'll just slow it down. But I'm not going to speed it up. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of keep the same pace. If it's too fast, then that we can leave for another day. All right, this is basically going to be our show view right here. All right, so we haven't created a show right right here. We're only still operating using this, but I'm going to do the show view in its own video. Okay, this part right here.
right? So because then we can just go to the at the, the web route right here and actually just create a show view and then we can actually just go to this view right here. So we will just obviously update this route and then we're going to do this show. All right. So let's see if all is, is well in our browser. All right. As you can see, we've got our title right there. We've got our, we've got our body text right there. We've got our excerpt. It's all good. As you can see, this shows two days ago and this one shows two days ago and actually shows the timestamps and everything in there. So that's, all good now the, the problem is if you're going to go to your just forward slash right there you're going to have an error because it shows um i actually uncommented mine so my uncle this is what i've done because remember we're passing the threads to this right here and it doesn't exist so i'm just going to leave it empty so just delete those threads so that you don't get the error and let's just go back and refresh we're probably going to update this view a little bit differently for the home page but for now we're going to leave it as is and let's just go to our threads right there okay so now we're displaying all of that two days ago the timestamp everything works very well all right so we're obviously going to make this a little bit smaller let me just go in there make this a little bit smaller and just put all the tags in a row there when we get to that part right for now the next part we want to do is we want, if we want to click on this we want all this information to actually come from the from the database itself all right sorry about that all right we want this to actually come from the database now what we want to do now is i just want to update the avatar as well but the video is getting a little bit too long i think i will let's just see if we can quickly do it Right, so what we want to do is we want to create a span tag and inside that span tag we're going to call on the thread the author right we're calling on the author method if you let's just go to our thread model right here right in our thread model we got the his author and inside the his author we got this author trade right here okay so this is the one that we're going to use all right, so let's just go back to in, in here. So the thread and the author, and we just want to get the author's name. All right, so let me just get this. So the span, now we need just to give it a class as well. Uh, some tailoring classes, uh, text extra small, and text gray. Uh, 500 let's do text square 500 and just put a gap of three just to give it some spacing okay so let's go back refresh as you can see and that's what we have right there just it's a little bit easier so that people can actually see the person's name and stuff like that right so we're obviously going to update the avatars and stuff but we haven't this users they don't have avatars as yet so this is all placeholders for now all right so we're going to progress along slowly but surely. Um, as you guys must just remember, this is all for learning purposes. So what we want to do is we just want to do, as we progress, is to learn different things as we go. So sometimes it might be a little bit slow, but it's just not to finish the forum as well. But to finish that, yes, but we're going to finish it. I'm going to try and do that as quick as I can. But the whole process for you is to learn so that if you want to build something else, you can use more or less the same things that you've learned here. All right. If you like the video, guys, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. And yes, leave any positive or negative feedback on the comment section. And if you have any questions or any problems, please ask them. As someone that else might be watching the video can also maybe look at it and maybe learn something as well or help you out. All right. So another thing that I want to do, since we're calling on the properties, I'm actually going to update this as a property as well in our user model. So user model right here. And so what I'm going to do 
as a project for yourself, these properties right here, just return them. As you can see, we already got them here. I already have them. So I'm just calling on that name method right here. All right. So it's not supposed to change anything. As you can see, nothing changed. All right. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. And goodbye.